Hey, I'm Maya. Um, I'm a second year. I use she, her, hers. I'm going to read a poem called Water. <laughs> For colored girls that have considered water when girlhood is enough. I fell in love with the Dead Sea and thirsted silent with parched split open lips. Salt water does this. I'm still having nightmares of water scarcity. I dream of wars fought over water. My great granddaughter weaned on this same fatigue, dying with distended belly and sunken eyes, thirsty for the luxury to give name to this drowning. Mm -hmm. Depression is not a diagnosis for bodies that look like mine. Mm -hmm. We are angry, hands on hips, sass. Do not cry, they will think that you are finally dead. On the news, black women only cry when she is being beaten or murdered, or her young is being beaten or murdered like an animal. What do you call a strong, independent black woman? A bitch. Mm -hmm. Depression is not a diagnosis for bodies that look like mine. Yes. Depression is for little white girls. Mental illness is for racist white boys in South Carolina who go on shooting sprees. Don't get depression unless you've got depression money. Since they brought niggers across some ocean, all we get is water. I remember gospel music, and I remember when Reverend Nelson puts you under the water, you aren't supposed to open your mouth. But I did anyways. Our bones are too dense to float, and I sunk, and I swallowed something ugly that had its hands inside me until I realized there's no difference between me and Jesus. He was a poor colored boy who talked a lot about free health care and thought a lot about disappointing his father and kissing Judas and what dying is going to feel like. There's no difference between me and Jesus. He was not the daughter of a black woman, but my mother wept at the scene of my martyrdom too. Remembers making her 19-year-old body a parted sea. Moses was a whisper in the reeds before she carried me into this world that did not want me in the first place. My mother cried when she realized there were no black Disney princesses. Heartbroken over her prince. Needing to be saved, black girls aren't princesses. Ghetto fairy tales go like this. My best friend's big sister says if your prince begins to beat you in front of your son, hold still. Cover your face. Let him draw enough blood to evidence your humanity. Do not expect them to call you victim in your obituary. Black girls aren't princesses, so my mother taught me how to fight like a black woman. Hold still. Win. Cover your face. Let them draw enough blood to evidence your humanity. Do not expect them to call you victim in your obituary. And the day that I have to tell my little sister what to do when treading water is the day that my girlhood ends. So to you that are trying to make her dark girl skin a shell of strong... A ghost of womanhood, she is still baby soft. Her only scars from falling in her roller skates. Her girlhood is not pink fleshed, but still baby soft. She is not angry. I am not strong, I am human. I need you to hold me to your body, this time not as your shield. I need you to hold me to your body. I am not drowning or already drowned. I don't need your protection, just always to know that I am someone worth protecting. This is how I will be tender with you. This is how I learned to cry.